These are the uh, two dry hydrants, and they are welded steel pipe, 8 inch, and they go out into the Housatonic River, where we see on another video clip, and you can kind of see the strainer, one there and one there. It's welded steel pipe that comes in through. When they had the permit to come in and do this work, bottom line is the existing system got damaged, so they had the opportunity to come in and uh, do some repair work and they put in a whole pretty much a whole new system uh, good welded steel pipe eight inches they were able to put a jetty out there right a rock barrier to provide an eddy in this area so this river gets uh, ice flow in the winter time and it does get flood water with storm debris so the protection of those are important so we often talk about when we put uh, steel pipe excuse me we put a dry hydrant into a big moving body of water like a river. Uh, the steel pipe, welded steel pipe, is generally uh, recommended simply because of durability and the ability to withstand storm debris. And then by turning those strainers downstream, there's less likelihood of them uh, being collection points for sediment. In other words, acting like a weir and just building up there. So a good design here. We did help a little bit with some uh, conceptual design on this work, but the uh, town did all the other stuff, including uh, installation, having a contractor do that. So dual dry hydrants allows two pumpers to come down here. And then bottom line is they got to pump back over up to the top of the bridge. And we'll take a look at that in another video clip.